I'm going to show you in this video how I use a Selenium RC to solve my problem of extracting comments from uh, uh, multiple web pages. So the first thing I did was read all the documentation pertaining to the Selenium RC. Um, this basically summarizes the whole picture. You've got the browsers that you can automate, the remote control server, which is basically the Selenium RC remote control, and um, the, the program that you're going to be writing in whichever language that you want. And this program will basically just communicate with the, uh, the browsers through the remote controller and will automate the browser. Um, I first used Java to just play around with it and I, I was successful, I got this. Um, then when I decided that I'm going to start implementing my task, was I, I used Perl because uh, of its regular ex expressions. Um, so you have at your disposal a, a full API that you can use, a Selenese language as they call it, and what I used from these functions was basically um, opening a window, a browser, and then the, the second one is get HTML source. <clears throat> this basically just returns the entire HTML source from a web page. And then what I did, I took that HTML source from all the pages that I wanted that had my comments, and then I parsed them, and I extracted the comments that I wanted. And the result was basically this. <clears throat> and, I, and I just made it into a web page in the end. Um, as you can see, all the comments are listed, and the ones of interest, which have the author speaking, are in red. And these are very important to me because I wanted to learn from what the author had said. So they were all spread out over 43 pages. I compiled them all into one page, one very long page, and then I could read through them and then learn as much as I can from them. Um, this is the, uh, the parser that I wrote. It's very simple. And that was uh, the the script that's going to interact with the Selenium RC and it opens the pages. It goes to the comments 43 times through 43 uh, pages. And um, this is the URL string. And then I'm just changing the page, the last page. Uh, so this is the page variable. And I'm just incrementing the page variable every time from 1 to 43 and opening it. And then just getting the HTML source and storing it into a file. And then I parsed that file and got the, uh, the filtered page that you saw there. This is the page that I got in the end. Very simple, but it's a very powerful idea too.